to Real Estate Radio on AMA 30 KLAA. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Ron Siegel. Good morning, Southern California. Welcome to the Ron Siegel Show on KLAA AM 830. The Ron Siegel Show is a show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, and even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the most important hour of radio on AM830, and thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice. That's my message, and I'll be delivering it every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here on KLAA, AM830, in association with ESPN. We have got so much good stuff this morning. I can hardly wait. We're going to really uh, change our format around a lot. But let me introduce you first to our expert panel, Barbara Armstead Amstatter, Prudential California Realty real estate expert, is in studio with us, short sale expert, all kinds of credentials. Thank you for joining us, Barbara. Well, thank you. And FICO credit expert, Rondi Lambeth. Thank you for joining us, Rondi. Thanks, Ron. Good morning. Good morning. This is going to be a great show. We have got some great information we're going to share with you. Actually, uh, Rondi and I spent about an hour and 27 minutes just looking at my personal credit report. And after being in finance, this is my third decade in finance. And I'm uh, shocked at how much I learned in an hour and 27 minutes with Rondi. Uh, and I can hardly wait to share that information. Uh, not only learning about my credit report, credit reports in general, I've, I've analyzed, I don't know, scores and scores, maybe hundreds of credit reports. And, and I'm just baffled at how much I didn't know, how much I, I hear of people doing things that are really not the way they should be done. Um, but we're going to get into that. Maybe uh, it might even entice you to know that when we looked at my report, just, uh, and Rondi's not a lawyer. I'm going to say that right from the very beginning. Rondi is not a lawyer, but he, he knows the laws. Uh, so he didn't give me legal advice. He just shared his knowledge with me. Can you imagine over $700,000 in potential liability Rondi identified off of my personal credit report? $700,000. Thousand dollars. Mo money, mo money, mo money. So we're going to be uh, talking about that. Barbara's going to share with us a lot of the misconceptions out there about what's going on in the marketplace on, on with people who are having difficulties with their homes. And w- the last show we kind of discussed the fact that we're going to get into uh, this first month of the year at least the concept of the train and the tunnel. And a lot of people I know are hurting. And a lot of people, you know, they hear about this train in the tunnel and they, they see a light coming through that tunnel and they think it's a train. And the reason they think it's a train is because they don't have the answers. So we're really focusing here on the show on what are the answers, what are the solutions. And if people really decide that they want to get their head out of the sand, we're here to help. Now, I have got, Rondi's in studio, if you want to hear about credit reports and learn more than you probably want to know about credit reports, Rondi is, is very generous, generously, easy for me to say, sharing his time with us on this, and I'm more than happy to put you in touch with Rondi. All you need to do is call our 800 number, 800-306-1990. Again, that's 800-306-1990. Rondi will be glad, I'll put you in touch with Rondi, uh, and he'll be glad to help you as well. Um, But that's just an idea of getting information, professional information. The information that Rondi shared with me after all these years of me doing credit and and looking at reports are not the information I'm seeing on the infomercials, not the information I found online. It's great information, professional information. That's the same thing that Barbara and I have chatted about as well. You're not going to get the information on a short sale by going online. You might get some background or things like that. But the, the tricks, the traps, the misrepresentations, that comes from experts. So we're going to share that expert information with you this morning and really let you know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train if you choose to exercise that right to get the information. Again, you have to just make a phone call, 800-306-1990. 
800-306-1990. Rondi will share with you. Barbara will share with you. We've got bankruptcy experts, bankruptcy attorneys. Now, they are the attorneys that can give you legal advice. They're standing by ready to help. Again, you just need to make the phone call. But as our, we get into our first show after the new year, I'm just sharing a little bit of uh, thankfulness I still have from this new year celebration. My uh, celebration is just pretty much concluded. I have spent the weekend uh, at the beautiful Terrania Resort learning new things. I was shocked. I don't know, maybe, Rondi, Barbara, you guys might know this. Three resorts along the West Coast, the Montage, the Terrania, and Bacara Resort have no seagulls flying around the resorts. Are you aware of that? No. No. Have any idea why there's no seagulls flying around those resorts? They didn't pay an admission fee? This, is, this baffled me. We met a gentleman there yesterday who is a bird trainer. And those resorts pay him to bring owls, hawks, and falcons, trained owls, hawks, and falcons, to those resorts. And when those birds are trained, they, they fly up to a high perch and come back to him for a food treat. But these other birds know that, and it's the hierarchy of nature. They know to stay away. So the bird, the, he was telling us yesterday morning that they used to have 300 seagulls all the time or more around just one of the pools at Terrania. You can't find one now. Wow. Is that baffling? That is. It's amazing. That's cool. Now, I know it doesn't really fit into our topic here. It's not about credit. It's not about you know taking care of your housing. I just found it so fascinating. I figured... Maybe you'd find it fascinating also, and I, I just wanted to share, but let me get back to, the, to, to our topic at hand, and let me give you a quick reminder of the goals of the show. To build our housing market by teaching you the opportunities of this marketplace. More money, more money, more money. To protect you, the big banks, the media, the salesmen, the Wall Street gangsters. This is the place where you can get the information you need to make educated decisions. I got a bad feeling about this. To enhance your lifestyle, we'll let the rest of the media sell negativity. We're in here to have fun and celebrate life in the great Southern California. <laughs> Again, like I always want to share with you, this is your show. I'm the host. So if there's a topic you want us to discuss, please reach out to me anytime. Again, you've got our 800 number, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. If you're looking to buy, sell, refinance, again, Rondi, with your credit report issues, our, our bankruptcy attorneys for the debt issues, divorce attorneys have been in here helping uh, people with either prenuptial agreements or, you know, if, if things turn south, again, that's the light, getting into a fresh start. Reach out to us. Again, you can call our 800 number that I've shared with you. Reach out to me on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Real Estate Radio with Ron, no spaces. Our website, www.realestateradiowithron.com. There's a place you can put questions on there as well. Listen to old uh, archives of, of prior shows. And again, anytime you have any of the information that you've listened to on the show, or if we talk about any reports on the show, other than my personal credit report, I'm not going to do that, but... The reports that we put on the show, they actually go right on to our Facebook page. You can go on there and grab a copy of those reports right off of the Facebook page so you can get more details. We can't get into the reports you know, as, as detailed as we'd like, uh, but they are there so you can get the full details of them. And again, uh, I want to share with you a little bit from a high level. I don't like to spend a whole lot of time about the financial side of, of real estate from the from the markets. I just want you to, to know and get some education on it. You're hearing a lot of, I would say, deceptive information and advertisements right now out there. You're hearing about these interest rates that you can get in the mid threes, low threes. And you know something, they, those might be, they're, and they're, I'm not saying they're, they're lies, they're not, but you have to get the full details. Full details being a lot of those interest rates that you're hearing right now, those are based on seven-year fully amortized loans. So a, a $200,000 loan is probably going to be like $3,000 or $4,000 a month in payments. Think about that part of it when you're, when you're listening to those. Listen to those disclaimers at the very end. And if you ever have a question about those things, just feel free to call me at the 800 number, and I'll be more than happy to give you a free analysis of the information that's being shared with you to see if you're getting the real scoop. And again, all the other professionals that we have are willing to do that as well. Another thing that you want to be aware of 
is when you're listening to the market opinions out there, market opinions we're hearing right now about jobless claims and the, and the soaring stock market. Whenever you're hearing the stock market soar, that generally is meaning that money is coming out of the bond market. When money comes out of the bond market, generally you can look for interest rates to increase. So be aware of that. We've been uh, increasing. We had shared with you, you know, for the last four or five months, if you had that five, six, seven in your interest rate, you needed to give us a call, 800-306-1990, and have somebody in that analyze your situation. Well, since the 3rd of November, those interest rates have been going up, and you never know in any market. Barbara will probably share with us later on as well in the real estate market. You don't know when you've hit the bottom until it's already passed. No crystal balls. I went to Chapman's economic forecast delivery again this past Thursday, delivered by uh, my old professor, Dr. Essie Adibi. He's, he's sharing that prices are going to be going up. The median housing price and will go up 3.3% this year. Again, that has to do with the mix of what's going on. So it's not your house or my house specifically that's going to go up, but the median will go up. So these are all interesting pieces of information that you really need to know about, and we're here to share that information with you. Again, we do it from what I say is the 30,000-foot level. We want you to know about it on an individual level because everything we're talking about is individualized to you. So we're going to get into all of that. You're listening to The Ron Siegel Show discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, Barbara, Rondi, and I are going to be speaking about these credit errors, about these short sales, how you do these things the right way. We're going to even try and get to a few of the emails we've been receiving from realestateradiowithron.com. Remember to reach me at any time. Call our off-air number, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or realestateradiowithron.com. Connect with us on Facebook as well, www.facebook.com forward slash Real Estate Radio with Ron. No spaces. Stay tuned to the Real Estate Radio Network. We'll be back in just a few. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradiowithron.com for more info. That's realestateradiowithron.com. Have you been to car dealers only to be disappointed by their small inventory? That's not the case at Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa. The Connell family has been serving the community for well over 40 years. Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa wants to buy your car or truck. That's right. Go to ConnellNissan.com to receive your estimated value 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's C-O-N-N-E-L-L Nissan.com. Or better yet, take the 405 Freeway Harbor Boulevard exit, go south towards the beach about one mile to Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa. Real Estate Radio is hosted by local real estate and finance expert, Ron Siegel. The purpose of this show is to help consumers understand what's really going on in our local real estate market. We're teaching you the why and the how-to, so you'll always be one step ahead of everyone else. Whether you need to sell your home for top dollar, refinance and save money, or even buy a bargain in Southern California, Ron Siegel can help. Call Ron directly at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Take advantage of speaking with Ron anytime you're entering a real estate transaction. Having someone who can answer all of your questions that truly cares about you and your family's best interest is priceless. Call Ron Siegel today and you'll be glad you did. 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or you can visit realestateradiowithron.com for more info. Reverse mortgages are loans against the equity of a senior American's home. With a reverse mortgage, the homeowner can convert their home equity into cash. It also benefits homeowners in many other ways. With most types of the loans, the lender verifies your income and uses that figure to determine the amount you'll be able to pay. You don't have to satisfy the monthly repayments with a reverse mortgage. Homeowners over the age of 62 years may apply for a reverse mortgage, even without any income. For more information about reverse mortgages, just call our off-air number at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit realestateradiowithron.com and click the free workshop button. Are you using retirement money to pay bills? If you are, you're burning your future. You can eliminate debt and save your retirement through bankruptcy. I'm John Greifendorf, founder of Greifendorf Law Offices. We can help you. 
Call us today, 1-800-861-0786. That's 1-800-861-0786. Or find us on the web at Banco Law. That's B-A-N-C-O Law.com. We are Debt Relief Agency, helping people file under the bankruptcy code. Have you asked your employer what kind of home mortgage benefits your company offers? Calhoun Benefits has a complete range of home and mortgage benefits, which can save you five dollars to $10,000 on your living expenses, and the benefit program is completely free to California businesses and groups. If your company or group is not offering home and mortgage benefits, please visit calhomebenefits.com or call 1-800-998-1990. That's 1-800-998-1990. It's free to the organization and can save you thousands. to Real Estate Radio with local expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Hello. 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 Welcome back to the Ron Siegel Show on the Real Estate Radio Network. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice. That's my message, and I'll be delivering it every Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on KLAA, AM 830, in association with ESPN. And again, let me introduce you to our featured guests, Barbara Amstatter of Prudential California Real Estate. Good morning. Good morning. And our FICO credit expert, Rondi Lambeth. Good morning, Rondi. Good morning, Ron. We're going to talk a little bit this morning. Uh, as we've done from time to time, uh, we like to get into a real-time, real story. And again, this, this show is not only dedicated to educate, or designed to educate, but entertain Southern California. And the best place to start is with a real story of how we've helped someone. And please be sure that you know if you ever have any real estate questions, there is a number you can always call for our advice, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Generally, I use this segment to share with you something that's been, that we've done to help someone during the past week and a, a real-time story, though this week we're going to do a little bit different. We're actually going to share what was done for me this past week. So it's a little bit of turning the table, and I'm, I've got my credit report, my personal credit report, sitting right here in my hot little hands, and I, like I say, I spent about an hour and 27 minutes, to be precise, going over this report, doing a credit audit with Rondi. And Rondi, you do that with all your, your uh, clients, is that we correct? We do. Yep. We do a free credit audit. Okay. Beautiful credit. I mean, and it was very, it wasn't just going through and, and pointing fingers and, and saying, you know, shame on you, shame on me, whatever. It was really educational. I found it to be tremendously educational. Yeah, we take the information that FICO has taught me and certified me in, and the information I've learned from litigation attorneys, and I just share that with you and try to educate you on how to read the credit report and what's wrong and what's right and how to fix it. And you can probably share things that maybe an attorney couldn't because you're not an attorney. That's correct. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Um, and I'm not saying that's good or bad as far as sharing things, but I mean, obviously, attorneys always have to be real, real careful of... You know, their, their liability and their licenses and things like that. You're an individual just like every one of you are, and you can share the information without that kind of, a, of caveats. That's correct. So on my credit report, we looked at there was a total of 24 total accounts. Out of 24, just take a wild guess how many would have been wrong. The answer is, Rondi? 16. 16 wrong out of 24. Now... Is that unique, or do you see that frequently? You know, that, that unfortunately, that is not unique. According to a study recently done by CNN, they say 97% of all credit reports have errors. The government says that nearly 47% of all Americans' credit reports have errors significant enough that they will be de denied employment, denied interest rates at a desirable rate. So today's world, 66% of all employers pull your credit before they will hire you. So if you're 47% of America, possibly you would be denied that job because of the mistakes purposely, sometimes purposely made by banks and credit bureaus. So let's go back to that 97% of the reports have errors. I think that was a study you said from CNN? That's, yep, 97%. Okay. Is that only of the people with good credit? Or you know, is that like the, the 600 and belows? Or is that the people with high credit? That's 97% of over 100,000 people surveyed. So they just did random credit checks. 100,000 people, 97,000 of them had mistakes. Holy cow. That's startling. Okay, so now 16 of my 24 had errors. 
Give me the total number of errors you found on my report. I found 145 errors on your credit report. 145 errors. That's legal violations off of my credit report. That's correct, In- including nine different names for you and four different addresses for you. Holy cow, and I only have one house, and that's been flooded for a while. So and we've talked about that on air, so yeah. we'll, we'll get save that for another day. That's just startling. Now, you shared with me that there's a there's California statute that says the, the bureaus have to correct these errors. The, what, the California statute is the California Fair Credit Report Act says that if a consumer asks a furnisher, such as Bank of America Capital One or any of the banks, to remove an inaccurate item or a mistake and the bank willingly leaves it on and refuses to leave it, it's punitive damages of $5,000 per mistake. $5,000 per mistake. So I know who's asked to kick. Amazing. So now 5,000 times 145 errors. Now, my, the math is just startling. Yeah. It's, you, it's $725,000 of punitive damages. $725,000 of punitive damages. Plus attorney fees and actual damages. Holy... You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! Okay, Rondi, we're on our way, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Holy cow! That just that just startled me. This is ridiculous. I mean, when you when and you and I spent all this time together, and when we're looking again, this is this is not a hypothetical case study, folks. This is my personal credit report. Now, I don't have to. I don't. I don't think it's going to take rocket science here to figure this out. But Ronnie's going to be working on my credit report real quick. Yeah. Actually, Rondi doesn't do it. Michelle does it, and he just gets to sit here and take all the credit. That's right. There's one. There's a. Uh, there was seven accounts in there, Ron, of the sixteen that have been closed for almost three years. And on those accounts, y- they're reporting you currently late and past due, and it's been three years since the accounts were even closed. So they're not minor mistakes. I don't want people listening to think that they're just little typos. These are deliberate actions by the banks to purposely drive your credit score down. Okay, so why would the banks do this deliberately? It's more money. More money? No. More money, more money, more money. The banks will purposely and mistakenly drive the credit score down so they can ultimately charge you more interest rate. So are you ready to call Rondi yet? 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. We'll put you in touch with Rondi. Unbelievable. That just startled me. And and, now we've looked at some others for, for mutual clients of ours. The best rates as far as on property that someone's going to get is going to be a credit score of about 760 or above. How many times do you see people that are right at 740, 750 that you can help? You know, every single credit report I have looked at in the last three years, we've been able to help them. So even though you might have a 740 or 760, I always find mistakes and we always find errors in areas that we can improve it. We also help our clients at to um, avoid being a victim of identity theft with real simple tools that the Federal Trade Commission has set up, but because 56% of identity theft is caused from the credit bureaus, wow, 56% of identity theft is a direct relation and a direct cause of the credit bureaus. So they're paying more money to suppress that information, but there's ways that anyone can improve their credit score. Holy cow, this is, this is fascinating to me. I hope I hope you're taking note of this. Ninety-seven. When we speak, ninety-seven percent of all of, of America. I mean, a hundred thousand person sample. That's a huge, huge sample. I looked at uh, one of the networks. I was watching a business channel. I don't remember whether it was CNBC or Fox Business or something. I was watching last week, and they had a survey that they put up the results of, and there was five hundred people. Is what the survey sample was. So when you're saying a hundred thousand people. And 97% had errors. Startling. Yes. I'm just, I'm just yep. 
flabbergasted. Now, you had also shared with me, you have a statistic that in 2010, this one hit me as well, you looked at collections for your clients in 2010. And of the collections in 2010 that you tried to get off of people's reports, what was your batting average? We're 100%. 100%. Now, we're here at beautiful Angel Stadium of Anaheim. If they could get a batter that would hit 100% here, could you imagine what kind of salary he would get? 100%. 100%. Perfect. It's pretty. the The reason we're able to get a hundred percent is because of the violations. They're violating so many different laws by the way they're reporting it. It's not that the client had to pay it. It's not that they didn't owe the money, and it's not that maybe they already did pay it. It was the fact that they were violating so many federal and state laws that they would either delete it or we would send the client to an attorney who would file litigation against them and ultimately win in court. Wow. So, yeah, that's, that brings us back. I wanted to hit this point because one of the things I've heard of with several of these shady companies that get involved in credit repair, and I know you and I have talked about, there's a lot of shady ones out there. They make you as ill as they make me. One of the first things they talk about doing is they're going to send a letter off to the, to the trade line or the, the company saying, it's not my account. Is that your methodology? Absolutely not. One, it's illegal. Two, it's unethical. It's If it is your account, it's your account. Because we're FICO certified and trained, because we understand that there's over 200 federal and state laws that protect you from the banks, the collection companies, and the credit bureaus, because we understand those 200 federal and state statutes, we write letters differently then this account is not mine. Wow. We write it based on the violations that we find. Are you ready to, for us to put you in touch with Rhonda yet? 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. You're listening to The Ron Siegel Show, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, uh, Rhonda and I are going to continue on with this conversation. Barbara's going to join us and talk to us with uh, taking care of some short sales in real estate. Maybe we can get to some of the emails. Again, to reach me anytime, call our off-air number, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 or realestateradiowithron.com. Stay tuned to the Real Estate Radio Network. We'll be back in just a few. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradiowithron.com for more info. That's realestateradiowithron.com. Ron Siegel here from Real Estate Radio with attorneys Christine Wilton and John Greifendorf. John, when should people file for bankruptcy? Ron, people should file for bankruptcy before they spend their money to pay bills they may never pay off. Money is not personal, it's business. Your family's money is your business, and your job is to preserve it. That's your commitment. Bankruptcy is a powerful tool that allows people to eliminate their debts, regain control, and get a fresh start. That's why our founding fathers included bankruptcy in the Constitution. Christine, why should we use bankruptcy instead of debt settlement or other services to stop the nagging phone calls? We stop the phone calls immediately. It works for everyone, every Every time where debt settlement fails over 90% of the time. Through bankruptcy, we get your family the fresh start you deserve and the Constitution grants. To get the fresh start your family deserves, call Christine or John at 800 861 That's 800 861 or on the web at bancolaw.com. That's B A N C O law.com. Determining the truth about reverse mortgages is not easy. You need to be educated on the program so that you can make the best decision for your personal situation. Basically, if you get a reverse mortgage, you'll be getting a loan that will allow you to have a monthly income coming in, or a large lump sum at once, or a credit line. You can get any combination of these things as well. If you have an existing loan, it will be paid off so you will not have a house payment. The monthly income you receive from the reverse mortgage is guaranteed, and you will receive it as long as you remain living in the home. Regardless of the length of your life, your debt can never be more than the worth of your home. For more information about reverse mortgages, just call our off-air number at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990 or visit realestateradiowithron.com 
and click the free workshop button. This is Mark Renaro, GM of Connell Nissan Costa Mesa with some great news. We've just reduced the price of our new and pre-owned inventory. The reduced price is clearly posted on the vehicle and our website, ConnellNissan.com. Get the very best value on your next purchase without the car guy haggle. This includes those hard-to-find Altimus, Maximus, Murano, Rogue, and even the GTR. We're conveniently located just one mile south of the 405 on Harbor Boulevard. Visit us at ConnellNissan.com. Connell Nissan, family-owned, 46 years, is the number one GTR dealer in the USA. Hi, we're here with Ron Siegel, the host of Real Estate Radio. Ron, welcome to the studio. Give us insight as to what your show is all about. Hi, Eric. Thanks for having me. Thanks for asking me that question. The reason we developed Real Estate Radio is right now there is an abundance of misinformation out there. So Real Estate Radio is a show designed to give Southern California a focal point for their real estate knowledge, as well as a place to go just in case they might need anything real estate related. So how are you helping people? That's actually pretty simple. People need advice. So it really doesn't matter who you are. If you have any real estate questions, we're here to help. Whether you're buying a home, selling, you're experiencing a loan modification, short sale, foreclosure, there are a lot of things going on in this marketplace. How can people get a hold of you? Real easy. All you have to do is call. The number is 1-800-306-1990. Press option one. Interesting times in the market right now. Where do you think the markets are going from here? That's a great question. All I can say is this. The housing market came down one house at a time, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build it one house, one family at a time. So the best thing that anyone can do is access the free advice that we really want to give you. And to do that, you simply need to call me. The number is 1-800-306-1990, option one. I'd really love to help you're listening to real estate radio with local expert ron siegel now here's ron welcome back to the ron siegel show on the real estate radio network within every market there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities you just need some trusted advice that's my message and i'll be delivering it every sunday at 10 a.m right here on klaa am 830 in association with espn and again, welcome to our featured expert panel, Barbara Amstad of Prudential California Realty. Good morning, Ron. Good morning. And our FICO credit expert, Rondi Lambeth. Good morning. Good morning, Ron. We've been chatting about my credit score and, and $725,000 worth of potential legal violations on there. We've been talking about some real estate. We're just having all kinds of fun in here. We're glad you're with us to listen to this. And we are really honored this morning, in addition to having our credit expert here, a lady that's got a resume that's beyond belief. I couldn't believe this when I was looking at the the list of achievements that you sent me, Barbara. I can't believe this. 2009 Realtor of the Year by your peers. 19-year legend. So we've got a legend in Anaheim Stadium. (laughs) <laughs> top 100 internationally for multiple years. Top 10 in the office for 20... There's no way you've been doing this 22 years, Barbara. You can't be that old. Not possible. Well, I am. Oh, no, no, no. That's unbelievable. Top one half of 1% in Prudential International Network for all agents. Holy... This goes on and on. Now, this is, this is what really hit me somewhere. The personal realtor of the president of Prudential personal realtor of two vice presidents of Prudential, personal realtor of the head of relocation for Prudential. They could pick from anybody in the whole world, and we're honored to have you in with us. I'm a very lucky lady. Luck, laboring under correct knowledge. That's what luck stands for, right? That's it. I mean, isn't it amazing? I have an uncle that says all the time that the harder he works, the luckier he gets. It's true. Amazing. You've been you've had so many accomplishments. I just can't imagine where to even start. Um, short sales, foreclosures. You even went up against the Irvine Company and won. I did. Tell us a little bit about that. That's I mean, because everybody hears about the Irvine Company and, and winning against the Irvine Company. Tell us a little bit. In the early 1980s, there were approximately 4,000 leasehold parcels between Newport Beach and Irvine. And uh, at some point in time, the Irvine Company recognized that these were low-yielding leases. And they were in the process of trying to sell the company. And so 
all of a sudden the values under the land were these values were escalating at and a value at a point you couldn't even believe the value under my land went from 186,000 to a, a million 640. So what did that mean in the way of money to you or cost to you? Well, I was paying about $1,620 a year on my land lease and it was now going to 64,000. That did get my attention. 1,620 to 64,000? That's correct. I know what you did. You went after him. I did. I joined with another wonderful gal named Barbara Young, and we put together uh, the Committee of 4,000, which received national acclaim. And we went after the Irvine Company to um, work with us to readjust the leases. There were 52 different types of leases at that time, and you could be living next door to a person who had a different lease than you did. It made no, no sense whatsoever. So we couldn't get their attention until finally we had enough signatures to put a ballot initiative that would have stopped all of their development in Fashion Island. That did get their attention. Well, so you were you put together a ballot initiative to stop the growth of Fashion Island? Yes. Or the building of Fashion Island? Yes, it was kind of contrary to my belief in, you know, you know kind of good growth, but we needed to do whatever we could to help these 4,000 homeowners that were ha suffering dramatically. So now you might be asking yourself, what is this, how does this pertain to our topic? Glad you asked. <laughs> you're, you're not a newcomer to going up against some of these bigger institutions to help folks. That's correct. So when we're looking at this article that just came out this past week, and this is actually a blog from a very good friend of mine, Scott Shang wrote this blog. It says, Wells Fargo loan modification deal for California homeowners. This is a deal that Wells Fargo cut with our then Attorney General, now Governor Jerry Brown, about all these pick-a-pay loans. What are your thoughts about these loan modification deals that are going on? Gee, I wish I'd been able to see a lot of them. You know, it's uh, we call them loan mod dreamers because people are really kind of sucked into believing that they're going to get a loan modification and they go ahead with the whole process and I certainly encourage anyone to do it because if there's a possibility to save your home you, I'm in total support of people being able to stay in their homes but the reality is it's just not happening so they've put put together two billion dollars is the is the fund here to save these homes and you know, it's kind of an interesting thing that that's really the likelihood of it working is not high. No, it's not. But there are solutions. And yes, again, there that's are. what we're looking to talk about is the solutions. In this market, you know, the worst thing, Rondi will share with us this as well. Probably the worst thing on your credit report is going to be a foreclosure. Correct. Five years is what it's going to take you to buy a new house when you've got a foreclosure. What's the better answer, Barbara? Well, you know, right now, it's my understanding, and I, I, I've heard that Alan Greenspan has said that if prices drop another 5%, over 50% of American homeowners will be underwater. And it's not just the financial aspects, it's also the emotionality of this. People are really suffering out there. And doing a short sale is a very viable viable alternative to doing a foreclosure. In the short sale, you can walk away most times without a deficiency, particularly now on your first trustee uh, on a home, because S SB 931 came into play January 1st, 2011. Okay, you're getting, you're getting way ahead of my comprehension. First off, we gotta go back and let's talk about what's the short sale so everyone knows, and you can help me with that part. Wonderful. A short sale occurs when you owe more on your home than it's worth, and you go to sell it, and you're not gonna be able to pay back the lender or lenders what's owed against that property. Okay, so that's, our, that's the short sale. now. You and I just chatted. There is one lender out there that is sending out letters to their clients now that they're going to pay the homeowner $20,000, supposedly, to close their loan on, uh, or to sell the house within 30 days at a fair market value. Well, therein lies the catch. What is the fair market value? And my experience shows me that most times the banks come in with values that are inflated. And so it makes it very, very difficult because fair market value is really what a willing seller is willing to sell a property for and what a willing buyer without any kind of pressure is willing to purchase a property for. And um, therein is what fair market value is, not what you think it is or what I think it is or what an appraiser thinks you it mean, is. You think that just because I think my house is worth $5 million, it may not be? 
There's a small chance. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee my house isn't worth that kind of money, especially when there's uh, no carpet, no f- floors, no uh, drywall, or it's not yet anyway. We're getting there, but um, so it's what a fair, a willing buyer will pay. And what a willing seller will sell without duress. Without duress. Perfect. But there is that bank that's out there saying that they will pay that $20,000. They're sending out those letters, and we're not going to say they're wrong. Because it's like, it's possible that they could do that. There are all kinds of things that are going through right now where the banks are trying to clear out some of these problems. Well, they've got such a huge inventory right now of what we call shadow inventory of properties that, that are ready to come online as foreclosures that the banks have got to do something because if, the, if it continues in the same pattern in which we're going, you're going to see a further decline in housing prices, which is going to affect the entire economy. Absolutely. And... and Article I'm sitting here staring at from MSNBC, which is not one of my favorite uh, organizations, but I did see this, thought it was very interesting. More people are see walking on their mortgage as a viable plan. Folks, that is the worst piece of advice you could possibly get. Do not walk on your mortgage. Again, that's MSNBC. That's what I think of them. Again, if you walk on your mortgage, your property is going to go to foreclosure at some point in time. It may not be this week, next week, next month, next year. It's going to go to foreclosure. There is a lien on the property. It's going to go to foreclosure. Even we saw this past week, courts in Massachusetts upheld some some rulings. And again, we'll get into that further down the road. The short sale is the right answer. What we're looking at here at the Real Estate Radio Network is a long-term solution. Now, let me share this with you just before, and we're going to talk about this some more. A lot of people out there right now are having some problems. We understand that. We're here with the solutions. Call us, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. We will share the plan with you. But here's 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 the four steps or five steps to it you got to solve that albatross around your neck. That's the short sale. Call us. We'll put you in touch with Barbara. You're going to need some place to live. Call us. Barbara can find you some rental property. You've got to put your family someplace to live. Step three, you got to deal with your credit. Call us. Rondi will help out there. Wait the two years. That's what it's going to take in order to go from the short sale process, clearing the credit, place to live, Rondi does his thing. Four year, two years from now, Barbara's here again, and she'll be able to find you a new home to purchase. And you're back in. Now, Chapman in their forecast just told us that the prices aren't going to be skyrocketing over the next two years, so you're going to basically be able to sleep at night. You're going to be able to have some fun. You're going to get that back in your life. So we're going to continue on this conversation You're listening to The Ron Siegel Show, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, Barbara, Ronnie, and I are going to continue talking about all these credit errors, about the short sales, about this plan to get your life back in order. We're going to start talking about some of the emails that are coming in to us at realestateradiowithron.com. Remember to reach me at any time. Call our off-air number, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 or realestateradiowithron.com. Connect with us on Facebook as well. Stay tuned to the Real Estate Radio Network. We'll be back in just a few. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradiowithron.com for more info. That's realestateradiowithron.com. Reverse mortgages are loans against the equity of a senior American's home. With a reverse mortgage, the homeowner can convert their home equity into cash. It also benefits homeowners in many other ways. With most types of loans, the lender verifies your income and uses that income to determine the amount you'll be able to pay. You don't have to satisfy the monthly repayments with a reverse mortgage. Homeowners over the age of 62 years may apply for a reverse mortgage even without any income. For more information about reverse mortgages, just call our off-air number at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit realestateradiowithron.com and click the free workshop button. 
Have you asked your employer what kind of home mortgage benefits your company offers? CalHome Benefits has a complete range of home and mortgage benefits, which can save you five to $10,000 on your living expenses, and the benefit program is completely free to California businesses and groups. If your company or group is not offering home and mortgage benefits, please visit calhomebenefits.com or call 1-800-998-1990. That's 1-800-998-1990. It's free to the organization and can save you thousands. Real Estate Radio is hosted by local real estate and finance expert, Ron Siegel. The purpose of this show is to help consumers understand what's really going on in our local real estate market. We're teaching you the why and the how-to, so you'll always be one step ahead of everyone else. Whether you need to sell your home for top dollar, refinance and save money, or even buy a bargain in Southern California, Ron Siegel can help. Call Ron directly at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Take advantage of speaking with Ron anytime you're entering a real estate transaction. Having someone who can answer all of your questions that truly cares about you and your family's best interest is priceless. Call Ron Siegel today and you'll be glad you did. 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or you can visit realestateradiowithron.com for more info. Have you been to car dealers only to be disappointed by their small inventory? That's not the case at Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa. The Connell family has been serving the community for well over 40 years. Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa wants to buy your car or truck. That's right. Go to ConnellNissan.com to receive your estimated value 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's C-O-N-N-E-L-L Nissan.com. Or better yet, take the 405 freeway Harbor Boulevard exit, go south towards the beach about one mile to Connell Nissan in Costa Mesa. Are you a homeowner facing foreclosure? Do you need a plan to save your home? My name is Christine Wilton. I'm co-founder of the Greifendorf Law Offices. Bankruptcy has a plan that puts you in control. Call us today at 1-800-861-0786. That's 1-800-861-0786. Or on the web at bancolaw.com. That's B-A-N-C-O law.com. We're a debt relief agency helping people file under the bankruptcy code. to Real Estate Radio with local expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Hello. 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 Welcome back to the Ron Siegel Show on the Real Estate Radio Network. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice. That's my message, and I'll be delivering it every Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on KLAA AM 830 in association with ESPN. And again, our expert panel featured guests, Barbara Amstatter of Prudential California Realty. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Ron. And our FICO credit expert, Rondi Lambeth. Good morning, Rondi. Good morning, Ron. Looking in, we're talking about... The $725,000 worth of potential errors on my personal credit report. How many are on yours? And we're talking about getting out of that underwater home with Barbara. Now, underwater homes. Let's uh, First off, let's define that concept for folks, Barbara. Underwater homes. We hear that all the time. All right. An underwater home is basically a home where you owe more on the home than it's worth. So it, it, using that kind of a, an analogy, it, you're underwater. Okay. That, that uh, gives us good information there. So we know that, that, and that's when we're dealing with, the underwater homes are basically the homes we're dealing with when we're talking about short sales, right? That's correct. Okay, so then, now that we're in the first part of the year, my concept right now is to, an article I've got here as well, simplify your finances. Now this goes to, to right from the very beginning. I know that when I've had some challenges in my life, and probably a lot of other folks as well, you might have had this also. You find those sleepless nights. Maybe you gained a, a pound or two, or in my case, a hundred, because you're overeating because of nerves. So the things that we've been talking about here is simplify. Now, I, had, I ended up having to go very drastic to solve part of my problem. My problem, I had Dr. Uh, Whitgrove down at La Jolla helped me, uh, bariatric bypass surgery, lost 162 pounds. Didn't help the sleepless nights, though. So article I've got in front of me says, simplify the best financial decision you can make in 2011. And again, our plan, talk to Barbara. 
Get rid of that underwater home. She can help you. Now, Barbara, if I call you to get rid of that underwater home, what's it going to cost me? Absolutely nothing. Hey, that's that's my cup of tea. I like that idea. Mo money, mo money, mo money. So you, you're out there talking to folks every day for nothing. Absolutely. I, I have a really a personal commitment to be part of a million saving a million homeowners from foreclosure. People are going through tough times right now, and I see my role as one of a facilitator, getting them from point A to point B, giving them hope for the future, and getting them out from under this financial mess. You know something, and that's the great thing that I've really enjoyed with our forum here. I'm, I'm honored, humbled to be here on AM 830 every Sunday morning, that we can share a message with folks. It's not about... You know, I've said right along that if, if somebody thinks they're going to come in here and chat with us about just getting a commission and trying to get the quick sale. It ain't going to happen. We're here to educate folks. We want to share good information. And I love that. Call, call us. We'll put you in touch with Barbara, 800-306-1990. I ended up buying my credit report. Cost me, I think, what, 50 bucks, Rondi? Something like that? That's correct, yep. And then Rondi spent an hour and 27 minutes with me sharing. Now, that's not always going to be the norm. We also had to take care of doing some things to get ready for the show. But an average audit, Rondi? It's an hour. About an hour? An hour. Okay, so an hour. You got your credit report. That's what got cost. Now, you can't go to freecreditreport.com. That's not going to get you the information that Rondi needs. He's doing a professional service. And it's a much more in-depth report than what's going to come off of freecreditreport.com. But the beauty is... These are folks here that are looking to educate you. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. We want to help. The question is, are you going to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Is it a train? Or is it a rainbow? The choice really is yours. So, you know, you can simplify the finances. So we talked about getting rid of the albatross, getting a home to live in. Barbara's going to help you with both of those. Second step, Rondi. Taking care of the credit report. Two years down the road, we're going to go back to Barbara and get a house that you can live in. Now, one of the articles uh, that I've got in front of me here, three questions you must answer before buying a home. And the number third, the third item on here is, why am I buying a home in the first place? And there is four items on here, according to the Fannie Mae National Housing Survey. Would it shock anybody to know that not one of those four is price? Not one of those four has to do with an interest rate. Number one, a good place to raise children and for them to get a good education. Barbara, chime in anytime you want here. A place where you and your family feel safe. Very true. More space for you and your family. That's a move up buyer. Control your space. You know, these are all things that are, are helping people to enjoy their lives and their lifestyle. We're here in Southern California. You know, we're not Dealing with those uh, um, floods, and not the floods, but the uh, blizzards that we've been all watching on TV lately. We don't have that. We can go out to the beach today and walk in your shorts. You need to enjoy this lifestyle. That's what it's all about. So please take advantage of these free services, these education. These, these folks are not, they don't need to be doing this for free. Believe me, their services are unbelievably valuable. It's to help you. That's why they're doing it, is to help you. So please, take advantage of it. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. All you need to do is call or email us. I wish we had more time, guys. This is just unbelievable how quick our time goes in, in sharing this information. A great show today. And thank you to our featured guests, Barbara Amstatter of Prudential California Realty. Thank you so much for being here, Barbara. Thank you, Ron. Our insurance expert, Rondi Lambeth, thank you for being here. Not an attorney, just sharing great information from an expert. Thank you for being here. Thanks for inviting me, Ron. Be sure to check back with us regularly. We're going to have more folks coming in throughout this month. We're dealing with this same topic. Is the light at the end of the tunnel a train or a rainbow? Again, 97% of the Americans have an error on the credit report. You just need to, to make, make the sensible uh, decision to do something about it. Remember us on Sundays, 10 to 11 a.m. 
right after what Mike Willman and, and Thoroughbred LA. Thank you to all our sponsors. A very big thank you to Jeremy Lee, who makes me sound good every week. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your morning with us. That's all for the Ron Siegel Show on Real Estate Radio Network. Again, if you have any questions, call me anytime, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 or realestateradiowithron.com. Stay tuned for the Men's Dugout with Tara Grace. Have a great week, SoCal. We'll talk to you next Sunday right here on KLAA, AM830 in association with ESPN. Remember, if you aim for nothing, you'll achieve nothing. Our house.